Hey, what's up guys? Aldrin Astacio here at flypath.com. And if you want to add a little bit more cinematic video to your story, DJI added in Quick Shots, which was initially introduced with the DJI Spark, but is also available on the Mavic and the Mavic Pro Platinum lineups. So I just want to walk you through a couple of the features, what they do, and how to engage them through the application. So let's get to it. So Quick Shots is only activated once you get the Platinum or the Mavic or the Spark up in the air. So the first thing we'll do is let's take this thing up and then we'll start Quick Shots from the application. Okay, so in order for you to, to, to trigger or start Quick Shots, the first thing you're gonna have to do is actually get the Mavic up in the air. Once it's up there, you now go to the left hand side on the application and you hit the remote control icon scroll over to quick shot click on quick shot and then it's going to ask you to draw a box around the subject that you want tracked so i'm going to be facing the camera right now or the drone i'm going to draw a box on my screen and now that you've drawn the box, you can actually move a little bit just to make sure it's tracking you. And as you can see at the very bottom there, it says active track is on. Uh, I'm going to go hit Droney. Droney will now, when you click Droney, it'll show you a little sample video of what a Droney looks like. I'm going to hit OK. And then if you click the Droney icon again, you can choose the distance, how far away you want that Droney to happen. So if you want a really close one, you just want a really short proximity one. You would just click and change your meters to something like 10 to 20. If you want a really, really far one because you want to show, uh, you know, the location, you want to show a nice dramatic shot like that, you would increase that all the way up to 100, all the way up to 200 meters. So just for the demo, we'll just stick it out 100 meters and go from there. And the great thing about Quick Shot that DJI put in is that if in case you forgot to hit record, once you hit go, it'll automatically record. So a lot of times you might think that you forgot to hit it. Once you hit go, the camera will actually start recording uh, automatically. So what I'll do is I'll do that as well as I'll film it from the ground. So are we set our distance already. It's tracking us. And all we're going to do now is now to distract us, you're just going to hit go. There's a little countdown that will happen. And... The Mavic will then begin to push back for the Droney. So it's actually doing everything automatically. And the one thing that's really cool about all of the quick shots is that once it, it records and it goes to that, that distance that you set, it will then stop and automatically come back and stop recording and come back to exact location that uh, you started from. So there you go, it just reached the 100 meter mark and now it's on its way back. As you can see here, nice view from the drone itself as it's on its way back. All right, so that was Droney. So the next quick shot we're gonna do is called Helix. So I'm gonna, same thing, look at the camera, make sure I'm being tracked. Active track is on, it says go. That means it's ready. So you actually do wanna move just a little bit to make sure it's tracking you. I will click on Helix. Helix will do the same thing, shows you a little quick video of what is a Helix can do. Hit OK. Click on Helix icon, you can change the distance and direction. You can either have it go uh, distance away, I just have it at 60 meters at this point, and then you can either have it go clockwise or counterclockwise. But I'll leave it as it is right now, 60 meters. This just gives us an idea of what is happening during Helix. And it's basically going to track the subject, put him in the middle, and then do a spiral and go up around that subject. So here we go. Same thing. I could put it down, do some fun stuff with the camera if I really wanted to. But right now, I'm just going to show you this through the demo. Let me get my other, other focus here. And hit go. Three, two, one. And there it is. So it is circling me automatically. As you can see, I'm recording the, the uh, Platinum as it circles me. And then I will also show you through the app what the app is seeing here. So
So helix shots like this, really cool shots to do. If you're on a location, maybe if you're you know going hiking and if you want to show the, the scenery around you in a very dramatic way. So all of these quick shots are really designed to give you a nice, to add to your story, give you a nice cinematic look, uh, whether it be the drony or the helix shot. Add these up, do a bunch of different ones, add them together to, to compose a nice story around the location that you're at or the story or documentation that you're trying to tell. So there it is, it recorded, and then it came right back to me and it's ready to do its next shot. And the last one, of course, is gonna be Rocket. Same thing, track your subject, draw on there, make sure active track is on. Just move a little bit just to make sure active track does have you on its, uh, on its site. Hit Rocket down below, a video will come up to show you. Hit Rocket again, and then you can choose the distance above so it'll then now right now it's set for 60 meters so it'll basically just go up 60 meters and while it's going up the camera will slowly tilt down to keep that subject right in the middle so 60 meters is fine for a default let's put this down just to show you that way i can record with this one hit go three two one and let's see rocket ship get, do its work bye bye That's cool. Here you go. And then rock it from the app itself. See what it sees right there. It's a nice top down shot from where you are. So these types of shots are perfect if you want to show the landscape, if you want to get a nice dramatic shot. Say you, like I mentioned before, if you were outdoors and you were at the edge maybe of a cliff or a hike, you do this rocket shot and then now it'll show, show you coming up and look pointing straight down and maybe you could be at the edge of something those are how you get those really dramatic photos really dramatic videos that set the stage and set the location of where you are in a very dramatic way okay here it comes back and i think that's one of the coolest parts is that it does what it's supposed to do and then it automatically records it and it automatically comes back to right where you started all right now this other one here is not in the quick shots, but it is one that's been around for a while, and that is a uh, point of interest. Definitely this is one of the ones that also tell a really good story about your subject, and the only thing that you need to do here is go outside of quick shot, go to point of interest. Now what you wanna do to set point of interest is you wanna go and right above your subject matter, which is myself, right there, you can actually point it straight down to make sure that it is right, uh, right above you. Okay. Bring this up a little bit. And hit record point of interest. So that just makes, the, makes it that this center point right now is the point of interest. And then all you do is fly backwards the radius that you want your circle to be. So I'll just make it 10 meters. And the, the difference with point of interest compared to quick shots is quick shots will actually keep you centered with auto track. Point of interest doesn't do that, it just does the orbit. You actually have to manually place your subject in the middle and make sure you're also refocused. So I place it myself right in the middle. I am 10 meters in radius away from myself at an altitude of eight meters. So once you find that center point of where you want it to orbit, all you do is hit apply and also hit record manually and then you can change the speed in the app of how fast or slow you want that orbit to be and there it is so right now it's oh, let me do that so right now it is orbiting around myself and i'm going to record it just going around And while it's actually in orbit, or actually in point of interest, what you can do, which is pretty cool too, is change the height. So if you wanted to go even lower, you could do that. But the difference, like I mentioned before, is it's all manual. So the minimum height you can do it is at five meters. And then what you need to do is recompose your center by manually tilting up and down the camera to make sure you're recentered. So 
Really cool feature that you can actually adjust the height as you're moving. So a really dramatic shot would be very much like Helix is if you were to circle and rise and then you'd have to adjust the camera so you can actually be moving up and turning that camera as you go. But this is the minimum height, which is five meters right here. Really cool uh, views that you can get. And another one that's really nice to do is while it's doing the orbit, now I just tilt the camera up then you can actually do a nice reveal shot. So as, I, as, it, as it goes around me, I'm now tilting the camera up and it gives you an idea of the location. There it is. This can just keep going on and on. So you have to actually cancel this one. So unlike Quick Shot, where it'll just do it and then come back, this one you actually have to manually bring it back in. All you have to do is exit out, hit exit. It'll stop. Now I can bring this back in manually. Stop recording. There it is, Quick Shot. The three quick shots, Droney, Helix, and Rocket, added in there a little point of interest. Uh, these are three automated modes from DJI that works on the Spark. It was actually introduced on the Spark, and, but does now work on the Mavic lineup and the Mavic Platinum lineups. Uh, amazing ways to automate cinematic video to your story. So that's about it guys. That was quick shots utilizing the DJI Mavic Pro Platinum activated through the DJI Go app. Definitely try it next time you go out, but make sure you're in an open area or nothing that's around you that these automated shots, because of the fact you're actually flying backwards, you're, you're not gonna have those backward sensors. So you wanna make sure that if you're doing a drony, doing a helix shot or anything like that, that it's not gonna turn or go backwards into any object. Uh, try it next time, test it out a few times out in the open field, and then maybe next time when you go out hiking or you go do your next shoot, uh, you can add some of these dramatic shots into your story. Once again, if you guys got some value from my video, please don't forget to smash that like button. And if you haven't already, please don't forget to subscribe. I'll be doing a lot of videos, vlogs, tutorials, and tips with drones as well as other tech gear. So make sure you subscribe and hit that bell if you haven't already to get notified when I do post more videos. Thanks for watching. This is Aldrin Nastasia with flypath.com and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.